Before we get started with the construction of the front cover, spine, and back, one thing, before do the base of all your paper before you put in your pocket pages because it's much easier to do it when your, your album is flat like this. So it's easier to design, to design and see your whole album when it's like that. That's number one. Number two, you will see in the video, I forgot to add my, my gold ribbon tape here. So I had to do undo and lift this all up. And there's lots of layers. I have a gold layer, a cranberry layer, the designer paper. So I had a lot of undo that ended up just kind of wrinkling my paper just a little bit. So I do tell you in the video, if you want to use a ribbon closure, make sure you put the ribbon underneath the gold um, paper if, if you do decide to use that gold paper. Number two, I had a piece of one piece of 12 by 12 cranberry um, colored paper that I used and I should have had two. So you will see how I had to struggle to fit it on this back side. The last part, I show you everything except for this last thing that I, I recently added. This is just a round chipboard piece that if you have Graphic 45, if you have some of their old chipboard pieces, there's all these round little elements. All I did was ink it up real heavily, heavily inked it, um, then painted it with some of the, the gold that we used to paint around you know, our paper, and then added that little uh, joy sentiment from the collection, and then backed it on a little bit of cranberry ribbon. Didn't do much to the spine other than use this ephemera piece and then added that little bow and back this on a, a natural cardstock and then I just left the, the back plane like that. So that's just a heads up so while you're looking at how I created this keep those issues in mind. So I wanted to show you the working um, work what I'm working with for my album cover. So it's going to be something like this. Obviously, it's going to be cut off over here. Um, but let me go through the layers. So we have this image from the 12 by 12, and I just put it on a, a circle die cut that I painted with the gold, that gold metallic paint. So I think that looks real pretty. So that will be somewhere up and through here. We have this from the ephemera collection. It's got a little shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. This joyful Christmas will go over this joyful Christmas. Put these here so I don't get them mixed up. This is from the eight by eight. I just cut it right there. And I'm gonna be using this image, but I want it to keep the the burgundy outline here so I'm just going to slip this one under this one so we can keep that burgundy going all the way around and adhere that down something like that have our gold tape um, gold ribbon underneath this is five eighths of an inch it's called golden that and that this will wrap all the way around this paper from the 12 by 12 um, so this is going to be something like this this is a burgundy that I got from it's American Crafts. It's just called Blush Red. But this was just in my stash. So any kind of burgundy that kind of matches, you know, what you're working with. <clears throat> and then this is my gold painted um, natural cardstock. So this is going to be 
the bottom layer. So I'm going to cut this to fit. It's kind, I just cut out an eight and a half by seven. This is just eight and a half by seven and a half. And I, <clears throat> I painted it, let it dry and put it under some books to flatten it out. So now I'm just going to go ahead and then get that cut and then put that down. And then I will put this down with just a little bit of reveal all the way around like that. So that is what I'm going to do. So I have my bottom um, gold one in. So the way you're going to do these, this this album is um, seven and a half by eight and a half. So this cut is going to be one quarter of an inch less. So it's going to be um, seven and three eighths. Oops, seven and three eighths by eight and three eighths. This is going to be seven and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Make sure that's what I got. Seven and a quarter. Yeah, seven and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So I, I use my score tape. And then this, I have to ink this up, but this is going to be seven and an eighth. Let me see. Yeah, seven and eighth by eight and one eighth. So that will go down here like that. So then we'll get them all stacked up. So I'm going to get those down. Make sure you ink this paper. So I have my gold and my cranberry on and now this piece is going to be going on. So get that centered. And it'll be like And it will be like that. That looks good. So now I need to get this card um, put together so we have the edging from this like that. So I'm going to, oh, I've already inked this one, so I'm just going to adhere these two cards together and get it like like that and I'll be right back so here is kind of the staging for the album cover like that so I think that looks nice and then I was originally thinking of adding a gold ribbon underneath this that would go all the way around the album so it would be more like that halfway up so it would be more like this and then it would just go all around the album so it would look more like that on the front maybe not maybe not maybe that's too much and it, then it would wrap around oops all the way it would wrap around all around the album don't know yet. Mm, I think I probably won't. Um, I think I probably won't. But it was an idea. So I wanted to come on to show you um, the problem I'm having and so you won't have this problem so I cut out 
I made some more of these sheets. This is just an eight and a half by seven and a half. And I just kind of colored in, painted in those edges. This is a two and a half inch wide piece. Same height as this one. That's going to go here. No problems with that. Here is the, um, the cranberry red color that I used for here. No problem. I only had one sheet of this 12 by 12. I went back to look for some more. And of course that color wasn't there. And everything I got just didn't quite match. It was close, but wasn't a match. So here is um, this eight and a half, eight and a half by seven and a half. That's gonna go here. Need to trim that a little bit. So what I had to do with the pieces that I had left over, I had to Frankenstein them together so I could make my my little red border that would kind of flow with everything else. So just a warning, if you guys um, are even watching this video, when you're buying the, the backing cardstock, if you're buying 12 by 12 sheets, get at least two of them so you won't end up having this problem. For the spine here, I'm going to be using this piece from the 12 by 12 and I cut off this. So that is going to go somewhere like this. I have not inked the edges yet. That's going to go there. And for this side, this was a cutoff from this page here. This is going to go here, have not inked the edges. And then I am going to have this piece from the 12 by 12, the backgrounds. I'm going to have that come in. I'm going to leave a little gap with the red in between and then use this paper. So my idea is to have this gold line here at the edge here. So it just kind of uh, makes it look all uniform. So I will have to cut it here, but that's down the line. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on what I'm going to be cutting. Okay, so I have everything matted the way I wanted it to. And of course, see what I wrote down there? Ribbon. And I'm sure I wrote ribbon under here too. And I already put that down, but that has score tape, so I'll probably have to lift that up. And I haven't put this down. I built this on the, the gold paper, um, the gold cardstock. So I won't, it's going to be like this once it's, it's down. It's going to look like this going all the way across. Haven't put this on and this on but th that'll be at the end. So now I'm going to measure up halfway, put my ribbon up here and on this side too. So I'm gonna have to lift this up. So I will make a note in the video, don't adhere this down till you get your ribbon if you want to use a ribbon closure. So I put in my ribbon on this side, which was easy, this side was not had to undo this whole area here and it's still kind of wet so it's wavy do not like that so now I can attach and hopefully this is long enough did I make this long enough I better check so now that the inside covers are done uh, we're going to work on the front cover so using a little bit of my black construction tape to keep this flat as we do it. So I just put in this card. So just to let you know, this is from the edge it to the from the edge of the burgundy of the card to the 
black of the album it's one two three eighths of an inch and it's just centered top to bottom so there's just a little bit of reveal on the top i mean a little bit a little bit so that and then this card i'm going to put the 55 on top and it's going to be going somewhere like that and then this joyful christmas from the ephemera pack if you got the ephemera pack is going to be going something like this over the existing joyful christmas something like that do i want it going out over the edge have to play around with it I think I'm going to go over hmm, I don't know maybe like that you're gonna see it a little bit underneath but you're not gonna know what that is so that is going to be something like that for the album cover I might move this down just a little bit like that want this all balanced now if you are one of those um, flower people that likes to make do flowers you can put a cluster of flowers here but I I am a flat person because I like my albums when I open them up to not be lifted up by all the the decorations that are on them so I'm going to go ahead and put that down like that. 